Well, you had to see this coming. And this is not fake news. I'm not making this up. You had to see this coming. And as bizarre as it is, it's not a surprise at all. Yes, it's in the news. A French woman named Lily is planning to marry her robot. That's right. As reported in several different news sites, this news.com out of Australia, French woman wants to marry a robot as expert predicts sex robots to become preferable to humans. Well, why not? She said we're not hurting anyone. Uh, she, she says we're not hurting anyone and, and we just want to be happy. Why not? She found that she was more attracted to robots, to humanoids, than to people and calls herself robosexual. And hey, I, for one, don't want to be robophobic. I don't want to be a robophobe. Hey, if love is love, it's a matter of happiness. It's a matter of her being happy and the robot being happy. And you have experts like, like Dr. David Levy or Levi who, who says the future has a habit of laughing at you. If you think love and sex with robots is not going to happen in your lifetime, I think you're wrong. He said the first human robot marriages will take place around the year 2050 or sooner, but not longer. There was just a conference at a university in London to discuss these very things. The future of human robot love. Well, why not? Why can't you marry the one you love? In fact, there is a growing movement. Cosmopolitan and Good House Peeping report on this. A growing movement of women now who are marrying themselves. This is not as isolated as you might think. Here is a major article. Why I married myself. Here's a ceremony, pictures of a ceremony, a woman marrying herself. Listen to what the article says. Self-marriage is a small but growing movement. You say, what do you say today? What vows? You, you say, I choose you today. Here's some of the other vows uh, that, that they use. I will never leave myself. I promise to ask for help when I'm suffering. I promise to look in the mirror every day and be grateful. I promise to give you the incredible life that you long for. Uh, the article says self-marriage is a small but growing movement with consultants and self-winning planners popping up across the world. The article references a, a woman, 27, Dominique, who is a self-marriage counselor and minister offering services including consulting sessions and private ceremonies through her website, Self Marriage Ceremonies. <clears throat> hey, if marriage is not the lifelong union of a man and a woman, if it's simply the union of two people, then the obvious question is why two? Why does it require two? Why not three or four or five? If love is love and everyone's consensual, why not? Well, why does it even require two the other way? Why can't you marry yourself? If, if, if you want to marry yourself and that's what makes you happy, why not? And then why can't you marry your pet? People have done this. We've documented that. Well, then why can't you marry a robot? Look, there are some people intensely lonely. I don't mock that. They, they, they form bonds with their pets. They're very close to them. Well, why not form a bond with a robot? After all, the robot's not going to mistreat you. They're, you can teach the robot to laugh at your jokes. I mean, they're becoming more and more animated and so on and so forth. And then there's even now sex with robots is increasingly common. So why can't someone marry a robot? Are you a romophobe after all, friends? Once you redefine marriage, you make it meaningless.